Number two, when writing an equation, how is a reversible reaction distinguished from a non-reversible reaction? Okay, so first thing I want to say here is that non-reversible reactions, they also might be called irreversible. Irre I think reversible. So they go hand in hand. Non-reversible and irreversible is the same exact thing. But now the question is, how can we tell a reversible reaction from an irreversible reaction? Well, in number one, we, we basically talked about what an irreversible reaction was and what a uh, non-reversible or a irreversible versus a reversible right reaction is. How do we distinguish it? It's this sign right here. Reversible reactions have this double sign. This is a pure reversible reaction. I have the double sign. That means that the forward reaction is happening. N2O4 is being produced to two NO2s. And the backward reaction or the reverse reaction is happening where two NO2s is being made into two N2O4. So this is the distinguished factor. If I just had this N2O4, and then I just put a single arrow, and then I said 2NO2 gas. Since this is not a double arrow, only the forward reaction is happening. You can't go back because I don't have that double arrow going back here. So this would be a irreversible or a non-reversible reaction. So that's how you distinguish a reversible from a irreversible. It's the sign right here. All right. So this one was pretty easy. What do you think? Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel and hang tight because question number three is coming. All right. I'll see you in a few seconds or maybe a minute or whatever. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye bye.